And we're back. And we're here to savor the find. Some people may ask. Can you find the GCC caches in the winter? Yes, you can. I wouldn't recommend it on a day where it's raining like today, though. <laughs> yeah, you must be prepared for lots and lots of snow. It's the contemplation of, we can see the cache from the road, but it's the getting there and knowing what you have to go through to get it. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> I'm stuck. <laughs> that works better. I got it. Woo! Okay. Woo! <laughs> Look at that. That's cool. Watch this. <laughs> 25 meters, but we can walk on water. water. <laughs> or you can crawl. Well, that one's gonna take another visit. If you happen to find yourself here in the spring, summer, or fall, when there's no snow, you might get that one. But right now, we're putting that one down as a blue frown, upside down, a DNF. But there's more caches to be found, so that's good. tours about having fun and finding caches and they've done a great job of putting it together to bring all of us into their area the geocaching capital of Canada and even in the winter even in the winter you can find caches but be prepared for snow it's hard slugging through that snow It took us a half an hour to get to the cache. <laughs> Just kidding. 40 meters. <laughs> 40 meters and 40 minutes later. Another great cache. It is a real challenge to get to this time of year. <laughs> I wish the snow would take off, eh? <laughs> <laughs> and? They said everything I was going to say. Oh, oh look, look, wait, no mosquitoes. No, no mosquitoes. mosquitoes. Hey, perfect. Let's go get another fun cache. This tree has mittens. Woo. And thanks for joining us here on part four. And look for us again for part five. Where will geocaching take you? Maybe the GCC. Maybe. See ya. Bye-bye. Usually 60 meters after road doesn't seem so bad. <laughs>